I'd be happy either way. <laughs> right now, I want to get right over to Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello. Grace, uh, I, I would like for it to be me, but I think I'd share. I'd, I'd make sure you were taken care of as well. Oh, thank you. Yes, then I'd get a dog and, and then we'd be good to go. And, then... and you're taking care of us weather-wise right now to a little rain, but nothing to worry about. Absolutely. Yeah. Keeping you informed, telling you what you need to know. Thank you, Chris. All right, well, we're looking beautiful this morning. We're seeing our city lights and conditions are nice for us right now. It'll be a while before the sun finally wakes up and joins us, but we're doing mi we're having mild conditions so far. Temperatures ranging all across the 50s here in North Alabama and Southern Tennessee. Now as we head through the rest of the morning, we're actually going to see a slight dip in temperatures around 7 a.m. But it's only going to be for about 45 minutes or an hour and then we'll warm back up again. What we are going to see a steady increase of is cloud cover and humidity, meaning that by the time we get to this afternoon, we'll be feeling much more sticky than we are this morning. If you have errands to run today, go ahead and do those this morning or in the very first part of this afternoon. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Morning Radar Network at 5.49 a.m. on your Friday is completely dry, but it's not going to stay that way for very much longer. Now, we'll be warm today, in fact, even warmer than we were yesterday. Our high temperature will be in the mid-60s, and we're expecting heavy rain to impact much of the Tennessee Valley starting later this afternoon. Now, there is a chance for one or two thunderstorms, but for the most part, it will just be rain in the forecast. We will have plenty of gusty winds as well with gusts up to about 25 miles an hour. Now our rain chances pick up late in the afternoon and they're the strongest around dinner time and as we head to bed on Friday. So what do you say we get right to it? This is the system that I'm tracking. The forcing behind this is a cold front that's getting ready to pass the Mississippi River. Eventually this afternoon it's going to make its way to us here in the Tennessee Valley. So we will see rain impact the shoals at about 3:30 this afternoon and plenty of cloud cover is going to stay with us. By the time we get to 6.30 dinner time, if you're heading out the door for a Friday night date night or if you're commuting home from work, well, there's going to be heavy showers along I-65 and many of our other major roadways. Just a reminder, these oranges and yellows, heavy rain. Unlikely that we'll see any thunderstorms today. Now, by the time we get to bedtime, this is pushed into Sand Mountain and will push out of our way overnight. And we will keep the chance for some sprinkles in the overnight hours, but it won't be as strong of rain as we'll see later this afternoon and into to bedtime. But more rain returns first thing on Saturday. This has us at 7 a.m. on your New Year's Eve and it's scattered showers but heavy scattered showers starting in the Shoals and in southern Tennessee. By the time we get to 11 a.m. your kickoff for the Sugar Bowl we're still seeing scattered rain. At this point it's heavy downpours for many of us. So if you need to have your Sugar Bowl party you might want to have the first half of that indoors. We'll keep scattered shower chances through dinner time but many of us will be dry at that point and then we'll increase cloud cover again just in time for the ball to drop and us to welcome in 2023. That means that we will be dry, though, when we finally welcome in 2023 and, well, we'll be sunny when we start the next day. As we push through the rest of the weekend, we are going to have sunshine and warmer temperatures stick with us on New Year's Day itself, which, if you ask me, is a very nice way to welcome in the new year. And my advice is to soak up that sunshine while you can, because by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday of the next work week, we're reintroducing strong chances for showers and storms.